Hi, Jim here at Keyboard Exchange International with Mr. Carter and Mr. Stokes, Kyrie Stokes, Randolph Carter. And um, we had just wrapped up shooting five separate videos when Kyrie and Randolph started a conversation with each other. And I realized, oh my gosh, you're talking about things that would be so interesting to our viewers, especially musicians. So I asked them to just kind of continue the conversation. So you guys were talking about uh, when somebody asks you to give them lessons and then just take it from there, Kyrie. Um, right. Um, a lot of the times I would, especially on social media, people will reach out to me. Um, they'll call and ask for lessons. Hey, can you break this down? Can you show this skill? Um, and I never mind. I always want to help and help my fellow musicians, brothers. Um, but I always ask one question, why? So that's what I was telling my bro here. Um, like, you know, why? What are your intentions? Why do you want to get good? Why do you want to know that skill? Why do you want to, what do you want to do? Like, what are your intentions behind it? Do you want to just be good to be the best? Do you want to be the best to yourself? Are you doing it unto God? What do you, like, what are you doing? So that's basically what I was telling my bro here. Yeah, one of the things, uh, just to kind of piggyback off of what Tyreek is saying, you know, a lot of musicians want what you have but they don't want to go through what you've been through, you know. The process. They don't want to put the time in. Process. They just want to, you know. Just want to hop on in and go. Yeah. They don't know the times you've been shut down and, <laughs> yeah. you know, kicked off the instrument. Oh, but man. There's a lot that goes behind, you know, man. your skills. Absolutely. And funny story, um, I think I was about 14 and somebody got up and sung a hymn in a key I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I turned the organ off and act like it was broke. <laughs> I was like... I was like, and I looked, I kept looking up at her. I was like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, but the, the organ was off. So yeah, humbling moments. I've had times where somebody came in and they knew I didn't know the song and they would just kind of scoop me over and just totally demolish the song and then get up and look at me like, okay, play. And I'm like, so yeah, humble beginnings, man. Humble beginnings. And I mean, countless hours of, of there was a corner store around the um, corner from my church. And man, I would sit up at the church. I go up there when my aunt went to work. She had to be to, she had to be to work at seven o'clock. So I would get up at six o'clock in the morning with her, and have her drop me off to the church on her way to work. So I would be there probably from about six thirty till ten o'clock that night. Then I, when I got hungry, I would just walk around to the corner to the store and come right back to the church, man. So you know, you know, you can't really condense all that in one lesson, you know. Right. So that makes sense, you know. You can't just get it overnight. It's, it's a process. That reminds me of uh, Pastor Norman. Right. When he told a story, we had a Pastor Norman, a local pastor from Orlando, and he had the opportunity to get in the church, and he got in there early, stayed all day. He, he loved the fact that there was a Hammond organ there, and it was air-conditioned. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but he had a testimony similar mm -hmm. to yours, and uh, I know a lot of the musicians I've met over the years have similar stories, so I thought this would be interesting for everybody. Absolutely. I told you guys a little moment ago about my friend Ed Crochetti, uh, how, how you say you, you just practice, practice, practice until you get tired and then go a little more. And he told me uh, that he would wake up some mornings with the impression yeah. of the keys on his forehead. <laughs> and you both experienced that. Absolutely. But that's the kind of dedication that it takes to get to this level. Absolutely. Absolutely. And another now, thing is, you know, uh, what's very important is to have a, a model to follow after. You know, uh, I would say success is a pattern. So when you see a successful musician as Tyreek, you know, he had to, you know, put his focus on someone who's at a certain yeah. skill level where he would want to be. Right. That's important too. And you had people. You mentioned certain Absolutely. musicians that you admire and you Absolutely. try to emulate their skills. Who who were they? Um, Art Tatum, of course. That's my number one guy. Love it. I used to sleep with the um, with his music playing in my ears. Cornell Gatskin, who's a friend of mine. Um, Corey Henry, of course. So I would just listen to them guys and um, not exactly copy them, but get, be inspired by that because you still want to be you. So I, you can take their flair and their couple of their licks or whatever and do you. Just do you and be the best you that you can be. Sorry. Be the best you that you could be. Boy, that's a great... We, we need to... Type that out and frame it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like Kyrie Stokes. Yeah.
Be the best you. And I would yeah. say what's important as well is, you know, I know, I can tell Kyrie because when he taught the same thing, I've been taught, remain humble. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter, you know, how you rise and your skill set or whatever, because the most important thing is to remain humble because somebody else can come right behind oh, you. Oh, man. You know, who's humble, you know, and you think you're good, and next thing you know, you have a four year old who's raising who's five doing, year old. Yeah, who's doing what alive, you, yeah. yeah. And even if their skill isn't matched or better, yeah. um, they they cannot be as skilled as you, but their attitude is better, and they'll get the opportunity because exactly. they just like them more as exactly. a person. That's true. So, yeah, attitude is everything, along with the skill. Let your skill surpass. Let your attitude surpass your skill. That's let right. your more more attitude than skill. So that's what I say. There's another famous <laughs> quote. We need to write that down. Put that in the book somewhere. Sure. Famous quotes by Randolph Carter. And they're, just, they're, they're coming out today. <laughs> they are. You just keep, just keep, yeah. let them keep yeah, flowing, man. That, I tell you what. That's the preacher side. Yeah. <laughs> and when you come back in October, which hopefully you'll be able Absolutely. to, as you get these inspirational thoughts, write them down in a little book because we, we would just love for you to share all the Absolutely. all these wonderful, positive, uh, inspirational Absolutely. comments. And same for you, Randolph. Yeah, for sure. You know, sometimes uh, you could say much more than you're saying. Yeah. You know, uh, you are humble gentlemen, okay? But by the same token, people want to hear from you, especially when you're saying things like you're saying today. It's going to help other people. One final thought that I would like to add uh, is that no matter what your skill level may be, there's always someone you can learn from. Absolutely. There's always someone that you can mentor and teach. So regardless of your hierarchy of skill, just figure you're somewhere probably in the middle. Or if you're just starting out, you've got a lot of the good examples in, on YouTube and in other places to learn from. And once you reach a certain skill level, like you and Kyrie have uh, suggested, be helpful to others. Absolutely. So, with, uh, with, with does anyone have any closing comments before we sign off for now? I would say, don't stop learning. You know, don't stop. It doesn't matter. You know, just a piggyback. No matter how good you think you get, there's always room for growth. Always. Let me write that one down too. That's by Randolph Carter. <laughs> <laughs> well, signing off from Keyboard Exchange International. Thank you all so much for paying attention. I hope you've enjoyed these. The series of six videos now with Randolph and Kyrie, and uh, God bless you all. Stay tuned to to our channel, Jim Huss at Keyboard Exchange International. God bless, and we'll see you again soon.